G'day Cobblers, welcome back to the bush. In this video we'll be upgrading the booster in this Mighty 70 series. We'll actually see if we can get it to break. First up, let's have a look at the booster. Okay, but before we try to put in the uh, brake booster, we're going to do a control run from 80 kilometers an hour, and then after we do the brake booster, we'll do another run, and we'll see if it, we get any sort of improvement. First up, we need to disconnect the booster vacuum line. And now there's a bolt on this side, on the master cylinder, that goes through to the brake booster. And we've got two more bolts on the other side. Okay, and now we have two bolts on the other side. One for the master cylinder and one for the ABS. Now we have the ABS nut. Next thing to remove is the ABS bracket. So all you have to do is manipulate the brake lines a little bit and then you shuffle that out. Okay. Next to remove the master cylinder from the brake booster, just pull it back a little bit clear of the master cylinder. There we go. Now we've got to get underneath the footwell and disconnect the brake booster from the inside and the pedal. Okay, now we're underneath the dash, and first thing we have to do is remove the return spring for the brake. Next up, we've got this pin here that needs to come out. Once that, once that one's been removed, we can remove the dowel pin. Okay, so now we've got that one out. Okay, now we remove the four bolts from the inside, pull the master cylinder clear, and then you should be able to remove the booster. Nice and slowly. Now we've got the brake booster out, we need to measure the distance from this surface here right to the pedal attachment there. If we go here, that's 185 millimeters, so we have to transfer that measurement onto the new booster. Okay, now we need to remove the brake pedal attachment from the original booster and put it onto the new booster. That's got a jam nut at the bottom there, so we'll just back that one off. Then we can take the attachment off the top. And we'll transfer this piece onto the new booster. Okay, next up we have to remove the standoff plate from the original booster. And the two little retention washers. Then remove the actual standoff plate itself. Pop that on the new booster. Reinstall the two washers. And then 
plate on top. Next up is the bracket. Now to reinstall the bracket. Screw that back onto the end. And re-measure. So we're looking for 185 millimeters, and there we are there. Don't forget, we have to do up that jam nut. There we go. We're really ready for installation, and we'll go and put it back under the bonnet. So now we have to put in the brake booster. Guide that through the hole. I've got a friend in there, Chris, who's guiding it in from the other side. And of course, we've got a new gasket on there. We have to put the end of the master cylinder in the hole and line up the studs into the firewall. Now Chris is going to let me know when uh, he's got a nut on the other side there. Thanks Chris, so we've got a nut on there, so now all we have to do is push home the master cylinder. Now of course that won't be completely easy, because we've bent all the hoses trying to get the master cylinder out. There's a shaft that needs to go on there, there we go. Now we've got it home, we'll grab a nut out and secure it on at least one side. And don't forget, we need to put the ABS bracket on. Okay, let's have a look from underneath now. Okay, now we need to put the pin back in. And reinsert that. And then the clip is next. Once we've done that, finally the return spring. Okay, now we just have to neaten up under the bonnet, do up a couple of bolts, job's done, back to testing. Okay, now we're just tightening up the ABS bracket. And that's done. Yeah. And finally from the outside, the vacuum hose. Slip that on, and then the clip. Now we're done outside. Well, as I say, the proof's in the pudding. I've set out the cones again on the same stretch of road, and we're going to give it a go and see if it pulls up any quicker. You can see the first cone there, that's where he broke to last time, and we'll see if he pulls up before that all made the same distance. So we got nearly a 17% improvement in braking from 80 kilometers an hour, and that's no mean feat. The standard brake booster, it's great for standard rims and a standard vehicle as soon as you start loading it up, put GVM upgrades on there, and you run bigger tires especially, only 285s on Chris's rig, ATs, you're gonna start stressing the standard system, and you're gonna need help in that department. Now the brake booster did it for us. 15 minutes to install, well, not quite. It took us about half an hour, though. That was the first one we'd done. No doubt you'd get quicker and quicker as you went along. Now, this video isn't sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Superior Engineering. That's the brand. That way, we can be objective. Anyone who tells you we get free stuff and we're doing an objective review of that product, bullshit. A shill bid is a shill bid. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, give us a thumbs down, twice. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one.